Howdy, hey, hi, Spaceman Josh here, and welcome back to Prison Architect. So, it has been a while since I have recorded uh, on Prison Architect, but from what I can see and what I can remember, uh, we nearly just decided to start taking out people. But it would, it, we decided against, or I decided against it, and wait, decided to wait until lunchtime. So that way everyone would be in here, it would cause a huge riot, a lot of guards would die, a lot of, just a lot of everyone would die. And then that way I, uh, I can escape in style. So to speak. Oh wait, no, this guy got in trouble. That's sad. Oh, are they all getting in trouble? Oh no, no, that's not okay. Change of plans. Just kill everything. Oh, that is amazing. I really hope y'all heard that. I guess they killed a droid or something because it made an awesome sound. Ah, oh, shoot. I think the rest of my team is like, is dead. Or not, sorry, not dead, but un unconscious and handcuffed. That person just die? I'm gonna try skipping the punishments and see if something happened. I think I still have everyone. Oh, that guy died. I don't need a dead person on my squad. It is eat time. I don't know how many people still have keys. There are probably a bunch on the floor. I'm trying to close reputations. There we go. So I think I have three people following me. I think it's about time we start breaking out of here. Hopefully they all follow me. Still says they're following, let's hope it worked. It looks like it is. Looks like they're shooting at us. But that guy's still following me. I think he now he's just booking it. I'm gonna have two people escape again. Technically it should be three. Why is it not three? So he's in handcuffs. He is in handcuffs. He is in handcuffs. That that explains it. Well, it looks like we did a lot of damage. There's a few people dead. Uh, um, a lot of pe a lot of the other people decided to get wild. A uh, person that was in protective custody is dead as well. I can kind of see him off to the right a little bit. You can kind of see that the yellow instead of the orange. I think I'm still in handcuffs because all these people's, uh, although they're Things have changed. Their cells are different. It was a good attempt, though. I, I, I think that was definitely a pretty good attempt in terms of Escaping. Is there still there's still another baton here too? 
I still have a weapon. Still got the key. Woo! Question is, where's Rogers? I don't see Rogers anywhere. Rogers escape later. I have these two book it. Well, that dude's trying to catch up, but still. Open this door. Open that door. Now that person can escape too. Oh, look, more people showed up. Oh, this person's still in handcuffs. That's why. Rogers is still pink up. The guards haven't gotten him yet. I'm gonna see if heading to the new my new cell will help unlock these chains a little chains a little bit. Kind of like with solitary. I remember. As soon as my sentence was up, the, the handcuffs kind of just came off. I think I have to go up a little bit to the next level. Oh, hey, the car is going to bring me to my cell. I was already almost there when they were like, oh, I guess you should do this now. Chislet Trim. They're quick. His name is Mark. I'm going to help Mark escape. Come on, Mark. Come on, Mark, keep up. Oh, did that guy die? Oh, no, he got unconscious. He got tased. Mark will still escape, though. Never mind. Skip the punishment. There they both are. I will follow, please. There you go. There's the whistle. Um, skilled fighter. Come on, Sean Rogers, keep up. That was his name, right, Sean? Yeah. The door won't open. Someone's not at their bus One of the guards isn't at their thing, at their station.
And there is the alarm for this episode's Nerd Alert. Go ahead and turn that off and escape. As soon as I escape, it will be perfect time to give you the, this episode's Nerd Alert. Woo! Let's take a look at the score real quick, though. That person was dead. Not as many victims as I would have liked. So now we're going to go ahead and go with uh, this episode's Nerd Alert. Again, I have it on my phone here, so I'm going to go ahead and read it off of here. Let's see, where'd it go? Something happened. I had it, and now it's gone for some reason. I may have accidentally closed it. I'm going to pause the video here, and then I'm going to find it again so I can tell you all. Okay, I'm back, and I have found the fact that I was supposed to, that I was going to tell you all. Now this one is about uh, neutron stars. If you don't know what a neutron star is, they're essentially uh, it's one of the po possible evolutionary endpoints. So uh, essentially, you know, some uh, stars will uh, go to red giant and then to white dwarf. Some stars will supernova, and uh, some uh, and can go anywhere from you know some stars can become black holes. Some can become neutron stars. That sort of thing. And so it, a neutron star is one of those end point, end of the star life cycle stages. And it's for, uh, particularly for high mass stars. And so they're, of course, they're born in a collapse, uh, core collapse supernova star eruption and subsequently rotate extremely rapidly as a consequence of their physics. And so the fact that I wanted to tell you all was that, uh, neutron stars can, neutron stars can rotate up to 60 times per second after born, essentially, after, once that stage start, uh, is fully gone, uh, transitioned, I guess that's the correct word for it. And under special circumstances, this rate can increase to more than 600 times per second. Neutron stars are also stupidly dense. And so with this episode's nerd alert out of the way, let's go ahead and get back into the episode. So we escaped from that prison. So I think, let's see, how, how do I want to go from here? That was a decent score. Let's see if there's any more ones that I've made that some could potentially be used to escape. This one looks interesting. Called Prisonville, and it looks almost like a town sort of setup, which probably also means there's a there will most likely be a perimeter wall around it, and maybe some uh, sniper towers. It may be worth a look. All we can do is try. I'm Buckwell, Adam Buckwell. Ooh, and I'm strong. I showed up with a perk. Reputation. That's neat. It's midnight. Sleep time. Yep, perimeter wall. Ooh, there's also a gate that has to be opened by a guard. Also, it means I need to get guard keys in order to get out. That's the farthest I can zoom out. I thought I would, could zoom out a little bit farther, but I guess not. Common rooms. Uh, metal detectors on every area. Because of the perimeter and the gates, I'm pretty certain that pretty certain that the outdoor areas might be staff only. But at the same time, it might not be because you know there there could be the potential for having to go to different places. This person's in protective custody because they're a snitch. This person's tough. This one is just his name's just Gath Steel. This, uh, the outdoor out of reception doesn't even have a, a automatic door on it. It's just a door. It's kind of cool. Though I think it might be a staff door. Not entirely certain. Ooh, my turn. There's the snitch sorter. It's a mod I remember having a while back. This person's already max security. Eric Bu Buer? I guess that's how it would be pronounced. 
and then Duncan Keevil. And the uh, snitch name is Ian Hornick. Ooh, interesting path. I get to look at the offices. An empty office. A lot of these offices are empty. I guess that makes sense. You only really use six. One for each person. Again, back when I used to have utilities indoors. I think this one might be my cell. Whiten up the things up there. My house is somewhere else. These houses are also built for two people. I used to remember making them when they were meant for three people. I guess that means I tried making them better in some way. There's one person just casually stationed here. As I try to slow time back down again. Oh, these are just normal doors. Dan Rennie. Cool. That person is... That guard is stationed there and is trying to catch me. No, I don't want to go. Am I winning? I don't think I'm winning. I didn't win. In fact, I did. I think I did the opposite of win. I'll just kind of skip that punishment for now. They can't keep me locked in there. It's it's a normal door, so I mean, ooh, that was easy to break the shower. Ooh, and I broke the other shower. That was surprisingly a lot easier than the first couple of times. Ooh, and I broke that now too. And that one. I am a lot stronger than I was the first time around. Why is this? No, I'm trying to break the thingy. Let me break the couch. No, bad dog. Bad dog. No, I hit the person. Break the metal detector. Ha <laughs> ha. And I'm unconscious now. But I'm gonna skip the punishment because I don't know where solitary is. And I also don't, don't feel like waiting for solitary as I adjust my camera. There is a guard in my bed! I think this guard needs to be- what the- What is this? Comlink. You just had a walkie-talkie on him or something? You just casually dropped a walkie-talkie? Well, now I all have the basic skills. Sup, Dan? You're my new best friend. Just don't follow me everywhere. Ooh, the droid. You're gonna fix everything. I am stronger, tougher, deadlier. And fight, I win. <laughs> and since it's just casual doors to the room over here, I can just kind of just store it somewhere. Hopefully. Maybe, kind of, sort of. Maybe not really. Yeah, I have nowhere to store it. I'll just kind of store it in the, in my bed. They won't ever search there. They won't ever knock me out. They probably will, but not anytime soon. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? No. Bad. 
bad guard. Leave me alone. You will never take me alive. Why is there just a dude? Oh, he's going to grab that. Okay. Hmm. Is that still my cell? Oh, I don't have a cell anymore. These were all made normal, like, medium security. That dude is kind of just stuck there now. Well, that's depressing. I guess I should leave. I guess I am allowed outdoors. That's a bad decision. I'll make myself quick. Doubly quick. Come on, Max, there we go. Strong, tough, deadly. I don't need to be a skilled fighter, I have a weapon. This is a really big town. Oh, look, it's the medic thing to, try to take away the dead body. <coughs> oh, whoa, excuse me. To take away the dead body. Ooh, the armory. I'm so tempted to grab a gun. Really? That's just, that's just the end? Right there? I can leave? And win? That's just my cell? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I escaped with a one person squad with two victims. I got 26. I almost feel like that one episode in SpongeBob where he's like, How'd I do? And you got six. How'd I need to pass? Six hundred. Uh, that's a terrible score. But, I mean, we're probably reaching the 20-minute mark. I forgot to set my stopwatch, but it's been 10 minutes since the nerd alert, so I'm going to assume so. Thank you all for watching. If you like to go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hear more nerd alerts, go ahead and hit the, uh, uh, hit the subscribe button. If you want to, also turn on notifications. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Spaceman Josh out.